our good friend and colleague, Representative Ted Nesbitt, will be moving on to the Court of Common Plea in Mercer County in January of 2020. Representative Nesbitt was first elected in 2014 to represent the 8th Legislative District serving parts of Mercer and Butler counties. He has admirably served on the judiciary, children and youth, gaming oversight, and insurance committees. We have with us today his parents, Tom and Betsy Nesbitt, please stand. And at this time, I'm honored to present to you Representative Ted Nesbitt, sir. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker, leaders, members. And I admit it's a lot different standing up here, so it makes me a little bit nervous. I promise it's been a long afternoon, so I will try to be brief, but there's many people that I have to thank, so I, I appreciate your indulgence and in allowing me to take a few minutes of your time to thank everybody. I want to start with my family. Um, he's already introduced my mom and dad. I have been blessed to have parents that have supported me through my entire life and every um, endeavor that I've tried. It's been a long afternoon for them. They have a four-hour drive. I appreciate them coming down. Um, truly, I could not be any more blessed to have greater parents that loved me, supported me, and have uh, encouraged me throughout my life. Um, my kids weren't able to make it today, but uh, as all of you know, they're the ones that sacrifice when we have this job, you know, especially some of us that have further trips to make. Um, you know, they've seen me miss choir concerts and swim meets and things like that. I'm close with the kids. Um, I want to thank them for all their time. You know, and they've been out doing all the campaigns, the, the parades, the signs, you know, going to events. It's not always the most thrilling thing to do as a teenager, especially when your, your dad is in public life. So I want to thank them. My sister, uh, Margie, and her husband, they've also done all those things as my nieces and nephews um, throughout these many years of campaigning. Um, I also want to thank my staff, my district staff, for taking care of the constituents and doing the outreach. Um, my Harrisburg secretary, Vicki Trostel, I was truly blessed and lucky to get um, such a person helping me. Um, she's been tremendous. Apparently, I'm not the easiest person to work with because I don't sit still and I'm always constantly moving. Um, but Vicki's done a great job in taking care of myself and Paul Schimmel. I couldn't have been, um, asked for a better office person than Paul. He and I came in together and it's been great to work with. Um, and Brooke Haskell is my PR person, um, has also done a tremendous job. And Christy Martone, who's sitting with my parents, um, has helped me both here in Harrisburg and at home. She's done the campaigns for me and, and basically, you know, sacrificed a lot of her own life to make sure that she's out helping me um, do some of the things we've been able to do. Um, you know, I, as a high school sophomore, 1983, for years, I'm 52 years old, I was in a student council um, countywide uh, meeting and it was in the paper. So I got a laminated picture from the paper, it's Sharon Harold, um, from Howard Fargo, who was my state representative at the time and worked with Dave Redicliffe. And to show you how good of a state representative he was, he hasn't been there in almost 20 years, and I had somebody within the last two weeks say to me, well, you're no Howard Fargo. Um, but anyhow, uh, I had a great role model growing up, and I said to myself, I wouldn't mind being a state representative. And that was 30 years ago, I had that burning, little flicker of a light that that would be a good thing to do. Well, it's been a long and winding road that I ended up here, and I am so blessed that I had the opportunity. Um, you know, I've been here for five years. I managed to pass five bills. Um, we're working on another one this week. Um, I'm proud of the accomplishments, um, several of which were uh, very good bills. We have one of the strongest bills now in sexual extortion in the country, but it took a lot of people helping. Um, Senator, or Senator. Senator Brooks, but also Joanne McClinton, prime sponsor of several of the bills with me. Um, and I think we've been able to manage to do some bipartisan things to move forward specifically on criminal justice reform, but I also had an electronic prescription bill in battling the opioid crisis. 
So I would encourage you to find ways to work together to get things done. You know, we live in a cynical time, but we have managed to pass significant legislation these last few years. It is possible, despite some of the rancor and some of the other things going on, to get things done. And I'm proud of the work that we've done. And it's been a team effort. And I, I'm honored to work with many of you in this room and some of the ones that have uh, recently retired. So I guess the final thing I would like to say is thank you to the voters of the 8th District. You put your faith in me and allowed me to come down here and fulfill a childhood dream. And now you've got a new adventure. So the Mercer County voters have trusted me to take over as a common pleas judge. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I, I admit it's going to be a completely different role for me. Most of you know that I don't sit in my seat very often. I'm over talking to everybody, trying to get these bills passed that we're working on. You know, so one of the most difficult portions is going to be actually sitting still. But I'm up for a new challenge. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all of you. Thank you to my family. Thank you to my staff. And, you know, God bless you. Merry Christmas. And thank you. Ted, hold, it, hold on for a second. Representative Nesbitt, thank you for your service to the citizens of the 8th District, as well as to everybody in Pennsylvania. I know you've served on a, a number of committees and worked hard on legislation within those committees and, and um, obviously in this chamber. But I think in one conversation you uh, had uh, conveyed, I don't know if it was directly, but conveyed how much the work on the Judiciary Committee meant to you. And um, so it's, I think, obviously going to be fulfilling that now you're going to be uh, a jurist. And um, you had a long, uh, successful career as an attorney, including in the uh, prosecutor's office, right, in, in, in the DA's office in Mercer County. And now you'll be, um, you'll be on the bench. And uh, I'm sure that the citizens of Mercer County are looking forward to you uh, serving in, in that very, very important role. And I do think that having worked on legislation and getting it over the goal line in, into law will serve you very, very well as a judge. Thank you very, very much, uh, Judge-to-be and uh, Representative Ted Nesbitt. Thank you, and a small token as a gift to you.